Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meet Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn basically how to draw network diagram in our new video series based on network analysis under the subject operation research. Now, this is the very first video under this network analysis series. In this video, we are basically only going to prepare or learn how to prepare or how to draw network diagram in the most simplest manner. Okay, now let us see how to draw network diagram. But before learning how to draw network diagram, there are some basic concepts which are required to be understood before drawing network diagram. So now let us see what are the basic concept of network analysis. Number one, an activity. In network diagram, an activity is represented by an arrow. Example. Okay, so we can see here one arrow which has written an alphabet and a number which represents. It means that activity A takes five days to be completed. So always remember while drawing a network diagram, the activities will always be represented by an arrow. Second, an event. An event represents a specific point of time or an accomplishment in the project. So in a network diagram, an event is represented by a node that is nothing but a circle. So very important point that is example. Now, if you look at the question, if you look at the example, event one, the circle with the node one, it represents the start of any activity. In this case, we are, you know, we have been given activity A and event number two represents the end of activity A. So activity A starts from one and it ends at activity two event are represented by a circle. So it means that event number two will occur only when activity A ends. So an event is always represented by a circle. So that's the second basic concept that needs to be understood. Third, sequential activities. Two or more activities are sequential in nature if the end of an activity is the starting point of the next activity. Example, now if you look at the diagram, we have the starting point of A which is number 1. We have the end point of A which is number 2. But in sequential order, the end of A becomes the starting point of B. And then we have event number three, which is the end point of B. So your activity B starts after activity A. So whenever there will be sequential activities, okay, the, you know, the starting point of the second activity will always be the end point of the very first activity. Now, these all concepts are very important while, you know, drawing the network diagram. Next, the next that we have is known as the preceding activity. Activity that must be completed prior to the start of another activity is called as the preceding activity. Example, now in the same diagram where we have activity A and activity B, here activity A is the preceding activity for activity B. It means in order to start activity B, you will first need to start activity A. Now, the next basic concept is succeeding activity. Activity that cannot be started until one or more preceding activities are completed. It is called as a successor or a succeeding activity. Example. In the same diagram where we had activity A and activity B, here activity B is the succeeding activity for activity A. 
so activity a is preceding for activity b and activity b is succeeding for activity a so the one which is prior will be called as preceding and the one which is later after the preceding it will be called as a succeeding activity now the next concept is concurrent activity activities which can be accomplished or performed simultaneously are known as concurrent activity example now if you look at this particular diagram we have activity a the end point is you know the starting point is 1 and the end point is 2 after the completion of activity a there are two activities which are simultaneously been performed that is activity b and activity c this is nothing but a concurrent activity activity b and c are concurrent activity it means from one single activity two or more activities can be performed simultaneously that was concept number 6 next we have the merger event an event which represent ends or completion of multiple activities is called the merger event now merger is nothing but when you are merging two or more events to one single event whereby you are representing it is the end example now if you look carefully here we have activity c and activity d two different activities and if you look at the arrows they have been merged to one single event which means that's the completion of both those activities activity c and activity d end in event number 5 hence event number 5 is the merge event where it is getting merged and that's call as the end point of that particular activities next we have the burst event an event which represent the start of multiple activities is called the burst event the exact opposite of the previous event example from single event when we have two or more activity which, which are you know bursting out that is nothing but burst event example it said that both the activities e and f start from event number 4 hence event number 4 is called as the burst event now the last basic concept which is required to be understood after that we'll be able to easily draw network diagram the last concept is merge and burst event an event which is merge as well as burst event is called as merge and burst event meaning there will be a, a point where it will be tapering and then there will again be a burst in that example the diagram looks something like this now activity c and activity d are getting merge at point 4 and at the same event activity e and activity f have been bursted so event 4 represent completion of activity c and d and the start of activity e n f so these were the basic concept which were required to be learned in order to solve problem sum based on network analysis or even to draw the diagram based on network analysis now let us start with drawing the network diagram and learning how to draw them now in this particular video we are going to take up two examples okay whereby we'll be drawing network diagram based on those two questions so let us see how to draw network diagram okay now let us see how to draw network diagram for the following set of activities now in the question we have been given various activities from a to h and thereafter we have been given the preceding activity so now let us see how to draw network diagram based on this particular question now 
the very first activity given is a and there is no preceding activity before a so we can say that a is the very first activity that we need to prepare so a uh, very first activity number 1 our very first activity is activity a now always one more thing uh, before making the activity or before drawing the activity always check if from the very first start point whether there is more than one activity which have been come out okay now in this case it was only one because before a there is no preceding so we directly have made the very first activity ka diagram now activity b the second one is activity b now activity b preceding activity is a and activity c also preceding activity is a it means from a from a b and c activities have evolved so where the point the point where activity a comes to an end from there two activities have evolved so that's basically the burst event where we have activity b and activity c being evolved theek okay, hai so we'll draw that now so from activity 2 or sorry from the event 2 we have two activities activity b and activity c being evolved now going ahead the next activity is d now d has the preceding activity b meaning from b so i'll note down here point number 3 the event 3 from b d is getting evolved and point and from point c e is getting evolved so 1 2 3 and this is my fourth event so from b we have activity d which is getting evolved and 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 from fourth event we have activity e that does get evolved now from so we have noted down d and e now let's check the next one the next activity is f now f has the preceding activity d and g has the preceding activity e and then you look ahead now i can, i'm not making a right now because i can see further uh, that is activity h which has preceding activity f and g so now we are going to, we need to plot f and g but then if you look carefully f and g they both okay they both end up at activity h so basically these are nothing but they are merging down so now what we will do here is uh, event number 5 and event number 6 from d we have activity f coming out and from e we have activity g coming out but then both of them are merging at point h so we will taper them down so we will note down here so from d and from e from both these activities okay they jump to event number 7 now from d we have f coming out and from e we have activity g coming out and f and g together end at activity h so they all combine at activity h so my last event is event 8 so this is how we had to solve the network diagram based on the very first quest so very simple so whatever activities are there we need to note down before that we just have to see the preceding activity that is the activity from which that particular activity have evolved okay thereafter we have to see whether there are you know it is getting bursted into various activities or merged to one single activity now in the same manner let us try the next question now in the next question is given that 
draw again network diagram for the following set of activities again we have been given activities a b c d e f g and then the preceding activities are also be given now the very first activity is activity a the preceding activity is nil meaning there is no preceding activity and if i look at even b again there i can see that there is no preceding activity so now how to start this now look at this very carefully they both are going to start from point 1 okay because point 1 is the activity before that there won't be any other activities now from this first event okay two activities have been evolved that is a and b so we have activity a getting evolved and activity b which is getting evolved there is no preceding point ahead of that okay from a now if i look carefully from a c has got evolved and from b d has got evolved so we'll just note down here this is event number 2 event number 3 from a we have activity c which has got evolved and from b we have activity d which has got evolved now looking ahead we have point e which is evolved from c and we have point uh, activity f which is evolved from d and e and f are both merging to one single point g so it's similar to the previous sum that we have done okay where they are going to again merge down so we have event number 4 and event number 5 from event 4 we have an activity e which is got evolved and from event number 5 we have another activity that is f that has got evolved they both meet at the same point that's that's number 6 and they taper and they merge to one single activity that is activity g so the end point of this entire network diagram is 7 so this is how we had to draw the network you know this is how we had to draw basically the network diagram based on the activities and preceding activities given in the question so these are the first two sums that we have solved based on network diagram in our next video we are going to take up another couple of sums so that this entire topic based on drawing network diagram uh, gets registered in the brain very clearly I hope everyone have understood this video. Stay tuned for the next video where we are going to solve a couple of more sums in order to learn how to draw network diagram. Thank you.